An update now from the Vatican on Pope Benedict's declining health. The spokesman said the retired pope is lucid and stable, but his condition is serious. A Vatican spokesperson later confirmed the 95-year-old's health deteriorated in just the last few hours. In 2013, Pope Benedict shocked the world by resigning from his position. It was the first time that a pope had stepped down in nearly 600 years. Former CBS3 anchor Pat Shiraki worked on that story among six assignments overseas at the Vatican. Pat, welcome back. She joins Thank us you, now Josh. with Yuki. Thanks so, so good much. to see you. So, I'm so glad you're here. You covered the resignation as well. You're a journalist first. Yeah. But how did it affect you personally, being other Catholic faith? Well, it was powerful, Yuki, because you knew that how historic it was. Yeah. Um, but you also watched it, I watched it very carefully. And what I was listening for was the reasons behind Pope Benedict's resignation. Mm -hmm. And what I was really moved by was how when he felt that his condition, that he was not as strong of mind and body, and the church was really facing a lot of challenges, mm -hmm. he prayed. He prayed mm -hmm. for to, to be divinely guided about what to do, and that's when he decided that he would resign. Uh, the day of his resignation, was February 28th. February. It was cold that day, mm -hmm. Yuki. It was mm -hmm. really cold. And he had multiple layers of clothing on um, that last day. Uh, he had a white, long white coat. And that was even controversial at the, at the time because only the Pope wears a white cassock, wears white vestments. But here he was as now the Pope Emeritus, as he was going to be mm -hmm, known, mm -hmm. and, um, and he was still in white, which he wore, has worn up to this point. As you alluded to, his papacy had to uh, deal with the sex abuse scandal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how do you think this is going to impact his legacy? Well, he actually made a lot of very important steps. Unlike John Paul II, who was also certainly a, a hero, if you will, in the Catholic Church, he saw the need for making sure that priests who were credibly accused um, of abuse, that they were disciplined, that they were defrocked. And he did more than John Paul had done during his time as Pope. So he, he really wanted to make sure that he did that. But that, you know, more recently in, in 2022, there was a report that was written, an independent report out of Germany where um, Pope Benedict had been the Cardinal Archbishop of Munich in, um, between 1977 and 1982. There were four cases, and there was this independent report that said that he didn't do enough, mm. that he really kind of put him aside. He, in more recent weeks, wrote an emotional letter saying that he had made, that there were mistakes that were made, and he asked for forgiveness with that. He also had met with victims of sex abuse. It was, was it was, a. Uh, it was a powerful thing for him. The funeral, what, what do you expect? Is it usual traditions or no? Because no, well, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be, be different. What's particularly different is that there will be no conclave because the seat of Peter in, in the uh, papacy of Pope Francis is filled. Mm. So you don't need to call a conclave. Now, whether the cardinals will, be, will come back on their own, they probably will not be officially called back. One of the symbolic things that will happen, however, is that his, the, ring, the ring that he would wear as uh, the symbol of Pope, that will be crushed. Uh -huh. That will be crushed. I'm, I want to add this, too. Mm -hmm. he had a, Pope Benedict had a terrific influence, interestingly, on Philadelphia. He was the one in 2012 who decided that in 2015, the World Meeting of Families ah, should come yes. to Philadelphia. Yes. And his intention was to be in Philadelphia. But as we know, he resigned right. in 2013, and it opened the door for Pope Francis. But he also then um, appointed the Bishop of Camden, Dennis, Bishop T Dennis Sullivan. He had been an auxiliary in New York, and he brought him into Camden um, as, the, uh, as the Bishop of Camden. And also uh, Bishop David O'Connell, the Bishop of Trenton. Um, he and Bishop O'Connell and uh, Pope Benedict, mm -hmm. uh, actually became great friends. Bishop O'Connell had been the president of Catholic University and hosted him when Benedict came to Washington in 2008. Just about out of time, the World Meeting of Families, was that probably one of your top three stories to cover? <laughs> you had to have yeah, either that or just any ordinary story working with you. Love you. So good <laughs> to see you. Love you. Thank you so Welcome much. Home. Thank Welcome home. Welcome home. Jess, back to you.